Hello everyone, welcome to Front and Fun. In the previous video, we have seen the basic usage of floating action buttons, and also we have seen the npm package required to use of floating action buttons. Okay. In this video, we'll just carry on with the icon buttons and the different type of icon buttons available. We will see what, uh, how can we include our uh, icon buttons in our package and the uh, npm package we need to install. Okay, so this is my terminal. As you can see, I'm on icons button branch. I have created a separate branch from master so that I can start fresh. Okay, and in my other terminal, I am running the dev server using npm run dev command. So at localhost 8080, I'm running the dev server. In this tutorial, we'll be using two images. So this is one image. And this is the second image. Okay. So let's get started. Let's see what are the packages required here. First, let me install jQuery. And this may some take some time depending on your internet connection. So I'll be back after this get installed. So we have installed the jQuery successfully. Next, we need to install material-components-web. So material-components-web consists of all the material components available. So this is the global package you can think of. You can get all the components available in the material.io. So I'm just installing this. And this takes some time. So I'll be back after this also get installed. Okay. We have installed this material components web package also successfully. So let's open the code editor. Okay, I'm just going to create variables.scss, a partial file, and include the font family here. Okay, I'm just making use of a random Google font and assigning it to a font family variable, and I'm going to import so the rate import. variables okay and to make use of icon buttons we need to import at the rate material slash icon hyphen button slash mdc hyphen icon hyphen button okay So the, these are this is the main class we need to import to make use of our icon buttons. Okay. So I'm targeting the body, setting the font family to my font family variable, and I'm going to use another class text center just to align my H1 in the center and uh, MB. To give a margin bottom of 20 pixel. Okay. Text align center. Next, let's jump to index.html. So here I'm writing a h1 with a class of text hyphen center. And inside this material.io icon buttons okay so let's see what is the default type of the button dev dot mb so inside this 
I'm going to write a div. default icon button so we need to add button we need to add this class mdc hyphen icon hyphen button and material terial icons so to make use of the icon here we need to use material icons css so i'm just copying the link tag from here as you can see material icons min.css i'm pasting the link tag in my index.html and when i click on save as you can see this is the default icon button So I'm making a copy of this and let's see what is the second type of button. The second type of button is icon toggle. And inside this button we need to use i dot mdc hyphen icon hyphen button underscore underscore icon dot material icons so I need to write dot here and write f a v o r i t a so this may look the same to make it a toggle effect we need to write another class here i dot mdc hyphen icon hyphen button underscore underscore icon dot material hyphen icons and to make it on and off we need to do mdc hyphen button mdc hyphen icon hyphen button underscore underscore icon hyphen hyphen on okay so to create this toggle effect we need to make use of javascript so i'm jumping to my index js and let's import jquery first import star s dollar from jquery slash i'm making use of min minified version of the jquery okay and we need to import star s mdc from material components web so i am directing document dot ready first document dot ready function so inside this function i am directing the icon toggle so let me write this custom class so I have written the custom class here icon toggle this is the custom class just to create a handler for this button ok dot each function so dot each here you need to write new mdc dot icon button dot mdc icon button toggle and pass this 
So let's see this in action. So let me add favorite hyphen favorite underscore border here. As you can see, we are hit getting a toggle effect. So when I click on this, it get it gets filled, and when I click on it again, only border is visible. Okay, so I can create a toggle effect on this. And if I make a copy of this button again and paste it here, so this also works. So I made use of a each to create a handler for each of the icon toggle button. Okay. So let's see other type of button icon toggle button that is. MB, we are having an icon button with a image. So in this, we are going to make use of image. So button dot MDC hyphen icon hyphen button, and I'm going to use my custom class on this also icon toggle so inside this button instead of making use of a material font we can make use of images directly img source equal to image slash icon dot png and we need to add a class here the class is mdc hyphen icon hyphen button underscore underscore icon and the similar classes we need to add here so for one of them we need to add the on and image source equal to image slash icon 2.png and the class is mdc hyphen icon hyphen button underscore underscore icon and mdc hyphen button hyphen sorry mdc hyphen icon hyphen button underscore underscore icon hyphen hyphen on so let's see this so if I click on this, you can see the image get toggled here. So when I click, I'll get an Einstein, and when I click, I'll get a tree there. Okay. So the last type of button is disabled button. So M M B disabled icon button. button the class of mdc hyphen icon hyphen button and add disabled attribute here okay i'm making use of material icon here material hyphen icons dot mdc hyphen icon hyphen button underscore underscore icon so I need to write if I or it as you can see you are getting a disabled button here so these are the four types of buttons and there is an issue when you run npm run build so I will show the issue here as you can see our source folder contains images and when I run npm run build command the dist folder should be generated here
okay I'll get back once the default is generated yes as you can see the default is generated but when you open this index.html in your browser you don't find the mirrors here so to solve this issue what we need to do is inside our editor in the index.js we need to require images slash icon dot png and require images slash icon two dot png because we are using webpack and I have installed the image loader so the webpack knows how to handle this png format files and now if we run npm run build again you can see that in our dist folder the image folder is also generated okay so since there is an issue here icon.png okay let's see what is an issue okay I forgot the path dot dot slash dot dot slash now if I run npm run build so basically the webpack image loader get, gets run and optimize our images when we require them and as you can see in our dist folder we are having a images folder also and now if you open this file as you can see I have opened this you can see the image get generated ok so that's it thanks for watching please do watch other videos on my channel please share and subscribe we will meet again in another tutorial take care